We're shooting my first car commercial. Porsche 911 old timer. Tag along to see how we pulled it off. I'm sure we also learned a thing or two. Yo crew, what's going on? Willkommen from Germany. This is actually the first time I've left the US in almost two years. It's good to be out and about again. Hashtag vaccinated. But today's star of the show is this Porsche 911 ST from 1968. And we're shooting a commercial because it's up for sale. I'm gonna enlist the services and help and the emotional support from DP Paula Porter. Cookie the goo! There he is. Say yo Paula. Yo Paula. There he is. In this video, we're gonna explore how we got the pass-by shots, how we shot outside of a car, how we shot inside of this car, how we mounted GoPros and also flew an FPV drone. And for the other part of the video, we're shooting interior inside the shop, inside the garage where this car was built and to see the BTS and tutorials around that part, you want to check out Paula's channel. And with no further ado, let's just jump right into it and uh, shoot this, let's this, do it. this ad. All right. Well, we're trying to get some coverage as they are zooming up and down. So we're trying to get good angles as they come from both directions so that we don't have to reset up every time. How does it look in? So probably it's better for me to stay here because if I pan to the right, I will have this one the in the trailer. Yeah. We have our trial yeah, cars here. Ah, it's like a Peugeot. He showed us the middle finger. Welcome to Germany. Echt? Yeah. So what I will do is I possibly will position myself over there. Yeah. Because that's a cool angle with a car coming from over there. I just need to figure out my first location to get a nice shot without the buildings in the background because we want to make it look void. My so then I would go over here. Let me try that. Because then I can then I can do a follow shot. Oh which yeah. Which is kind of nice. Just gotta tell me if I'm in your frame at some point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, let's get the cars running, let's get them ready and see how it turns out. So there are different ways to shoot a moving car. Obviously one is from the side of the street, one is just like out of another car. And for that we, you just like strap yourself up and jump in the boot or the trunk of a car. We also later gonna shoot with a car with a side door, which is, allows us to shoot, get some parallel shots and get the cameras really close to the ground. So that's dope. Also a quick big thank you to Lucas, who is our camera boy today, uh, behind the cam. Check him out on Instagram. All right, safety first. As we're shooting outside of the car, uh, we're strapping ourselves in here with these ropes so that we just don't just fly out of it. Safety first, don't do anything stupid, so we just be overly cautious. Alright, so we're now filming actually during some light rain and our equipment is getting really soaked, especially once we hang out and it's really dirty water as well. So it's not great, but anything for the shot, right? And it looks sick. Right, Paula? Of course. Pretty German weather, as expected. That's that's a problem when you have a white camera. It really shows real quick if they have dirt on it. Or white monitors, for that matter. <laughs> Scheiße. 
All right, this is actually my first time using the FPV drone on a job and the best way to initiate it is a race, right? So Porsche 911 ST versus DJI FPV, who wins the drag race? Let's see. All right, let's do a race here, let's do a race. To get these high energy shots and this unique POV you get from an FPV drone, you want to fly maneuvers that are unique to an FPV drone like a split S drop on down to the street or banking from side to side or just very close to your subject. I'm certainly still a noob flying these drones, but I, you know, like with time you get always better. What's very key with this drone especially is that you use ND filters to get that natural motion blur. I got and these filters sent from Freewell and ND4 to ND32. Same actually counts also for the GoPro. We mounted this GoPro actually very close to the tires here and using the Sandmark VND filter, which allows us to, to dial in, I think it's from ND, ND8 to ND64. So since we're talking about ND filters, let me quickly tell you about my newest addition to my Komodo rig, which is the Polar Pro Base Camp. I heard so many good things about it, so I had to try it myself. Actually, I used it on my last project, and I was surprised how light and easy to use this uh, mat box is. I didn't do a proper test yet, uh, that's not what I do, but in the real world I didn't see a big color shift, only if you really push it to the very end it gets a blue hue. The only downside really is that you can only use uh, Polar Pro's proprietary filter system, so if you have already, if you have a bunch of filters that you bought a while ago, then it may be a downside if you're just starting out and you're good to go. All right, so one of the things that's really appealing about cars, aside from the design and the performance, is the audio, is the sound of the engine. It's the sound that the car makes. So it's very important for us to also record that sound. And instead of just like have them as a, on a shotgun mic as a pass-by, we're actually mounting an audio recorder and a microphone here in the engine room. By the way, on a Porsche, the, uh, the engine is in the back, just in case you wonder. But it's located here and we mounted shitty rigged a, a tentacle sink trekkie in here and we just checked like the right location for it. It seems to be fine. We're also syncing this audio then like right right away with the Komodo so that we have the fitting audio with any motion, with any movement and with any camera uh, shot we're getting. So that's really, really neat. Uh, you just want to try out and, and experiment a little bit on the position of the microphone. In this case, we try to be close to where the engine sucks in the air so that we have like some variety of audio sound effects as well. So try out and see what works best for you. What engine? <coughs> Depends on the car. COVID! All right, this wraps this video. Check out Paul's video on his channel if you want to figure out how we've shot the interior shots here. But before you head over there, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring that notification bell. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a good morning, have a good night, whenever and wherever you are around this beautiful planet. Bye-bye. <laughs>